and welcome to this beautiful day. Today is Ash Wednesday. At the same time, today is Valentine's Day. The year 2024 will not be forgotten in a hurry where plenty of observance is concerned. It is one of those few days, those few years, when the Lent begins on Valentine's Day. And those of you who know the implication of Valentine's Day and the way it is celebrated over the years will understand the concern as regards Ash Wednesday on Valentine's Day. Right from the 14th century, Valentine's Day has been a day associated with romantic love. It has grown into a day of exchange of flowers and gifts by couples to express the love they have for each other. It is interesting to note that Valentine's exchange of love is very opposed and indeed totally contrary to the spirit of Lent. The Lenten period is a period of self-sacrifice, almsgiving, prayers, and intercession for the forgiveness of sin. Thus, when Valentine's Day coincides with such a solemn day, it becomes necessary to guide the faithful on how to approach the celebration. For the past centuries, it has not been common for Ash Wednesday to fall on Valentine's Day. As a matter of fact, Ash Wednesday and Valentine's Day last year the same date in 2018. It happened three other times in that century, in the last century. It's happened on 2023 or 1923. It happened again in 1934. And it happened again in 1945. For this century, it will happen again in 2029. But that will be that for this century. So it is a rare occurrence for Ash Wednesday to coincide with Valentine's Day. But when it does, the Christian needs to know the difference in degree of the two. It is important for me to mention here that the Catholic Church does not have Valentine's Day in her liturgical calendar since after the Second Vatican Council. In fact, it was in 1969 that the Feast of St. Valentine was removed from the general Roman calendar and then allowed it at the prerogative of the local or particular churches. Because apart from his name, Nothing much is known of St. Valentine. There is lack of clarity surrounding its origin. The church has recognized at, at least three St. Valentines or Valentinus, and all of them were martyred. Though St. Valentine Day is neither a memorial nor a feast, or a solemnity in the general Roman calendar. As a matter of fact, 14th February in the general Roman calendar is a memorial, obligatory memorial of St. Cyril and Methodius. However, some churches like the Anglican Church and the Lutheran Church celebrate the Feast of St. Valentine on the 14th day of February. Despite this, the Catholic Church acknowledges the spirit behind the celebration of Valentine's Day. It is a celebration of love. The celebration was originally intended to promote the value of love between lovers, between couples. This love was usually marked, as I said, with exchange of gifts, visitation, and sharing. Such is the law behind the celebration of St. Valentine. Such is the law expected of Christians. Unfortunately, St. Valentine's Day has metamorphosed from the celebration of genuine love to the celebration of immorality. The focus of the celebration has shifted from showing 
perfect love to mankind through caregiving, visitation, and gifts to some unacceptable social practices. A keen observer will appreciate that the secular world has taken over the celebration of St. Valentine to promote promiscuity and debauchery in the name of love. And it is as if February 14 has been set aside as a day of engaging in immoral activities. Scores of people see St. Valentine's Day as a day to activate illicit love affairs without recourse to the spirit spirituality behind the celebration. This abuse of the celebration now gives credence to why the church relegated it from the general calendar. The Catholic Church does not condone immorality. However, the Feast of St. Valentine has gained prominence as a social celebration all over the world. And Catholics, especially couples and youths, are understandably influenced by the celebration. It is not uncommon to see parishes and other Catholic institutions organize to celebrate St. Valentine's Day with their members. Sometimes it is done to give the Catholic Church, the Catholics, room to express themselves in a respectable manner as opposed to what obtains in the secular society. They use the occasion to emphasize on the virtue of love, unity, and togetherness in families and among groups. In some cases, resource persons may be invited to speak to the people on topics and issues relating to love, friendship, and sacrifice. Despite this beautiful organization of the Catholics on St. Valentine's Day, as soon as the next president for such gathering in 2024. From the very character of Lent itself, it becomes clear that the fact that Ash Wednesday falls on February 14 does not in any way diminish the celebration of Lent on that day. The character of Ash Wednesday calls us to repentance and confession. Ash Wednesday starts the season of Lent, the season of prayer, fasting, almsgiving. The imports of the day to Christian spirituality and morality gives no room for relaxation of Ash Wednesday because of St. Valentine's Day. Ash Wednesday remains a day of fasting and abstinence, especially from meat. It is a day of penitence and sobriety and does not admit of licentiousness. Beloved friends, what is reflected upon on Ash Wednesday is the great love of God shown to mankind by sending his son to be the atonement for our sins. By his suffering and death, Jesus revealed that God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Confess John's Gospel, chapter 3, verse 16. So, rather than celebrate mundane love, a selfish and self-destruct love, we celebrate the love of God revealed to man. We reflect on the sacrifice of that love which Jesus made for our salvation. We reflect on the redeeming love of God. Unfortunately, some people so idolize Valentine's Day that they may feel that Ash Wednesday should be suspended or better still, shifted to other days so that they could wallow in their immoral acts. The Christian that prefers Valentine's Day to Ash Wednesday can only be said to act out of ignorance or lack of faith. Ash Wednesday is such a solemn day that begins the 40 days of penitence. Along with reminding us of our mortality, the ashes on Ash Wednesday are also symbolic of grief. Grief for the sins that we have committed. 
We may not always be able to resist temptation as Jesus Christ did. But Lent provides an opportunity to reflect, pray, and repent of our sins. The 40-day period of Lent between Ash Wednesday and Easter is a time to reflect on our sinful humanity and the sacrifice that Jesus did for our sins. While the ashes remind us that we will die and return to the ground, if we believe in Jesus, we will be raised with him in glorious new bodies. Beloved friends, Jesus fasted and prayed to strengthen his faith during his temptation in the desert for 40 days. We too can receive power and strength through the practice of Lent. The church calls us not only to abstain from meat on Ash Wednesday and Fridays of Lent. Lent is a valuable time of abstaining from specific food, social media, television, and watching of movies, as well as other indulgences to focus on Christ. This is where the great antithesis between Ash Wednesday and Valentine Day lies. Whereas Valentine, at Valentine Day, we wine and dine and engage the social media unlimited and indulge in actions opposed even to local values. On Ash Wednesday, we are called to sober reflection through fasting and abstinence. That is why, beloved friends, I am encouraging all Christians, Catholics and non-Catholics alike, the old and the young, and especially the youth, to play down on the celebration of Valentine's Day. Be sober and be united with Christ and observe our holiness there and the Lenten practices. My prayer is that as you carry out these practices that edifies you and raises your spirit to God, the Lord God Almighty will grant you the grace to remain faithful to him so that just as Jesus Christ came that we may have life, you all will enter into his glorious resurrection at Easter. The Lord be with you both now and forevermore. Amen.